lunch. Plan B is looking much more exciting. Okay. Nice car. Thank you. And I just bet the best table in the house is your name on it. As a matter of fact, it does. Want something? Actually, I was thinking more along the lines of a mutually beneficial arrangement. What are you saying? Buy me lunch. Huh. You want me to buy you lunch? That's right. Why would I do that? Because I'm cute. Oh. And uh, you're apparently single. And really like your car. That's, uh, not much of a reason to feed you. Well, you have a girlfriend inside? Is that what this whole hard-to-get act is about? Come on, what do you say? I'd say that's, uh, none of your business. What, no girlfriends? Tough day at work? Pork bellies take a nosedive? I look like a commodities trader to you. Look, like commodities... Owner to me. Come on, anybody that pulls up in a car like that has got to have some spare change in his wallet to buy a pretty girl lunch. This kind of thing usually work for you, or am I some kind of a test drive? I always get what I want. Well, there's a first time for everything in here. Are you serious? You're turning me down. What's wrong with you? Maybe next time you should pick on someone a little more in your own league. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just a little too bridge to talk. Who the hell do you think you are? What, you show up here in your $100,000 car and your, what, $2,000 jacket? And you think you can talk to me that way? Mm, you do need lunch. You're hysterical. No, I'm not hysterical, honey. I'm pissed. It's your blood sugar. You know, there is an all-you-can-eat buffet over on 74th and Broadway. On your way over there, you can mug some little kid for his lunch money. And while you're at it, steal a scooter, since you obviously need a ride.
Yeah. If you kill me, you will go to prison. Nash, make him stop talking. Tess, I love you, Tess. You hear that? He loves me. Right. But he's right. You can't do this. All right, Tess, Tess, this is loud and doesn't take any crap off of anyone, right? That's right. Right, right. The reason I love her, the thing that she doesn't want anybody else to know is she's a good person. She wouldn't hurt anybody. No. No. No, everybody, everybody thinks that Jessica is so good, right? But so is Tess. I know that more than anyone. Think about our baby. You got to do the right thing. did you and Tess meet? She stole my car. Why did she steal your car? She, um, she invited me to buy her lunch at a fine restaurant in New York. Uh, I passed. Are you serious? You're turning me down. me for my lack of generosity. By stealing your car? Yeah. She, uh, didn't, didn't succeed, though. I stopped her. I took back my car. I took off. I thought I'd never see her again, but she, uh, she thumbed a ride and followed me to a party in the Hamptons. She sounds reckless. Reckless, yes. Reckless. Dangerous, obnoxious, fearless. I, I remember thinking she was the most impressive woman I'd ever met. She was just too good to be you. <laughs> well, I should have listened to my gut on that one, shouldn't I? You are as much a victim in all of this as Tess is. I, I don't feel that way. I, it, it's, it's not like we talked about the future. Not much, anyway, she, she always uh, was about the moment. It's, it's Tess. I want to have fun. You like to have fun, right? <laughs> Jessica.